It was a horrifying day in Homs. Shelling in the rest of Syrian city left a number of dead and many wounded. Those who could tried to scramble to safety after being hit. People offered assistance where it was needed. One photographer was screaming as a fellow journalist was bundled into a taxi. Later came word the French cameraman was killed. Gilles Jacquet, who worked for France 2 TV, was on a rare government-authorized trip for media when he was hit in a shelling attack. The veteran journalist was 43. Dominique Gerbeau is president of the group Reporters Without Borders, which offered its condolences to the family and colleagues of the first Western journalist killed covering the ongoing Syrian unrest. In this case, it was organized. They had been granted a certain number of visas, and several journalists were together in a group group when a mortar fell next to them. Were they directly targeted or not? The French foreign minister demanded an investigation into the attack and said it was up to Syrian authorities to ensure the security of international journalists on their territory. In the Netherlands, an official said a Dutch photographer also was wounded in homes. Back in the capital, Damascus, the scene was very different, as the crowd at a rally cheered President Bashar Assad, who told them he wanted to be with them. In the place that some parties want to alter, changing the land of harmony, love and peace to a land of destruction, killing and ruin. But they will not succeed in achieving this goal. As his supporters chanted their backing for him, Assad went on to say he has faith in the future and his government will triumph over what he called a conspiracy. Assad promised to fight on, proceeding with confidence and strength. He blames terrorists, not reformers, for the uprising against him. Assad's wife and children appeared in the audience alongside those waving pictures of him and some of his father, too. A disgruntled former Arab League observer looked at the situation very differently, though. Anwar Malik told Arab broadcaster Al Jazeera in an interview that he quit the observer team working in Syria in disgust because he said the regime was committing what he called war crimes against its own people. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.